so if you are working on a presentation and that presentation includes some photos which you need to display in front of your audience and you are making presentation like this then sorry guys you are not keeping yourself updated instead you can make presentation like this so this type of presentations look very awesome and have buttons on it to move to the next photo So for creating this video there are four steps first step is to select the images which you want to display on this presentation second step is to make these images like in these shapes third one is to add these buttons to link these to different slides whichever you want and fourth one is to apply the morph transition in this presentation so let us do this all steps one by one so let me create a blank presentation and let us insert those pictures which we want to add so i've downloaded already downloaded some pictures and now let us crop this to the required shape so let me move this all aside and bring one of it here now we'll go to picture format and crop crop to shape is the key to crop this in the required shape like this in the rectangular oval shape so we'll go to crop crop to shape and we will choose this we'll say crop and let us select some part of this image like this and yes uh, here you can see that there is a yellow button in which you will select till it becomes rounded from the end so in this way we have created one box and to change this image a bit in this uh, in this object you can go to another, again go to crop and move this image like this so that you can uh, set a required image in the cropped area now in similar line let me do for all the five images here you can choose number of images as many as you want now i want to, to add one thing that while i was cropping this image the second image was a bit stretched what i'll do is i'll go to crop again and here you can see that there is a, a button to stretch this image a bit so i'll uh, drag it down and move to the required area which i want now to make the width of this all the images uniform you can uh, just bring this image to front and hover over this image which you have already cropped and set this width as the previous cropped image now as i said we'll go to crop again and we will adjust this image like this So now let me make duplicate of this slide by pressing ctrl D and let's go to slide number 1 move this all this side and, and align let us align this now I'll go to crop and make this a bit bigger 
so in one slide you will maximize only one image now in the second image let me delete this one and make duplicate of this and in second one we will make we'll make this as it was earlier and now let us crop this one and expand this a bit And now as our all slides are ready, let us add buttons. So we'll go to insert and in insert we'll go to icons. And you can choose whatever icons you want, such as I took few of them from this. <coughs> and now let me select all. Go to graphics content and make it one by one or let us say 1.5 by 1.5 let's arrange this let me change background let me insert a circle shape Now let me select these two, go to shape format, go to align, align middle and again align center and now let me go to selection pane Now as our buttons are ready, let us link these buttons to the respective slides. So let us say if I want to link this button to slide number 1, so first of all I'll group these two by pressing Ctrl G and now I'll select both, go to link, go to place in this document and this is our slide number 1 so I'll select slide number 1 and press OK. Similarly in second button. I'll select both, press Ctrl G for grouping. I will select both the objects in group 23, graphic and oval, go to link and link it in the second slide. So now let me copy this all and paste it in the first slide. And let us adjust this the bottom. We'll copy this, paste the same over here also. And now the last step is to add the mock transition to all the slides. So let me select slide number one, press control A go to transition and apply morph let us make this duration as 0.5 we will apply to all and now let us see our awesome presentation So in this way you can make your presentation in the coolest way and make your audiences your fan. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and consider subscribing this channel. Thank you.